Hello everybody and welcome Tycho here. Today we are playing Lake or The Lake or what else is it called? No, it's just called Lake. Okay, welcome. Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay. Oh, am I meant to read this? Hello everybody and welcome. It's funny how a program designed to change your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. Okay, hello everyone. I wasn't expecting to have to read, but I'm glad we made the deadline. Yay! And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Provident Providence Oaks. Phone rings. <laughs> okay, I didn't realise I'd have to be reading all hello? the text in this game. <gasps> Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait. Ryan. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for Addit. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. So yes, hello everyone. Ooh, squeaky desk. Hello everyone. Providence Oaks, Oregon. First, 1986. Mr. Coleman, please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Hooray! Right, run. Oh my god. What a mess of an intro I've just done. But we're here, we're playing Lake. Now this is the demo. I'm going to try to shout over the music, because I'm not sure when I'm going to have another chance to actually speak. This lake. There we go. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park, with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. <gasps> really? Is that how you do mail? Yes, hello. So this is the demo available on Steam now for Lake. I believe it is actually fully released today at the time of recording. Um, but I haven't... Oh my god, I can't run or anything. Just walk super slow. Where's the mailbox? Oh, there. Uh, I've got a mouse on the screen which won't centre, which is a bit annoying. Eat to deliver mail. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have a mouse on the screen. I don't know how to get rid of it. So, we're just going to have a mouse on the screen. <laughs> okay, that's fine. E to enter the mail truck. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. Okay, this is... So it's essentially, this is a bit, bit more story-based mail delivery game. <gasps> Parcel Select 103 High Street. Eat Pickup. 
So yeah, I'm just going to be walking around delivering packages. I've walked to the front door with this one. That's fine. This looks very nice, this game. I'll give them that. This game is very, very nice. Can people not walk through my house without making loads of noise? Nope. No answer. Whew. Finally done. Apologies if you if you can hear them singing very loudly and whistling in the background. Oh, there's a sprint. Good. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Oh, this is an American course. Sure, there are How could I have not realized that sooner? You'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't do our own taxes in the UK. Unless you're in your own business. It's all done by the government. No place like home. Well, no, it's all automated sure because it's quite easy to just to automate a percentage. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See 7 a.m. at the post Adios. office? Easy. Is this where I'm living? It's quite nice. Walk to the front door of the house. Wait, is that me really walking faster? Oh my god, that's barely anything. Into my parents' house. <gasps> We're going inside. Weiss residence, Monday afternoon. Monday is an odd day. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know. She was working on su late night Sunday then. Safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, 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 one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Ooh, pie. Meredith, yeah, fancy some pie. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, Steve seems nice. Was Steve the guy we were talking to last night on the phone? When he was at the party? I can't remember. Another loading screen. This one didn't take as long as the initial loading screen though, which is good. Tuesday, September second. I said second again. I did this yesterday. I said second instead of second. Oh, options. I guess. Good morning, good Frank. Morning, Ready Frank. to rock. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Absolutely. Bon voyage! Bye-bye, Frank. So, walk to the mail truck cabin door. Enter the mail truck! M to open and close the map. So then... What do we gotta do? Uh, oh, we can place waypoints. With the X, where's X? I can only post one at a time. Tab to hide delivery list, M to close, zoom out. Okay, it's not too bad. There's no car sounds. Played with the sounds a bit. Oops, left the package in the truck. Yes, yes, we did. So, we are at. I don't know where we are. Main Street. So, I'm guessing it's 207 Main Street then. That's where we are. Ding ding. I have a package for you. Oh, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. 
So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Actually, this yeah, is only, it's only temporary. temporary. <laughs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Probably. Oh, nice music. Hope it's not copyrighted. I hope I don't get in trouble. Right, so what have we got next? Oh wait, that's 103rd. Oh, it's just a letter. And what's that? Oh, 103rd Main Street next. A I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Well, if they were old, they're probably dead. Not moved away, dead. Right, so we've got 500 Lake Road on the right. Oh, I pressed D. I pressed D. Oh. I'm actually enjoying this. So am I. This is nice and relaxing. Oh, we're driving alongside of the road. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot I'm in the UK. I, I don't know what to do with this mouse. Why is there a mouse on the screen? Oh, there I am. Just drifting over to the wrong side. Don't mind me. Moe's Diner. There stands diner. Holy what shit, there's a handbrake. Was this 500? Yes, 500 Lake Road. Oh, glad it says it on the map. 200, 300, 500. E. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Look, diner. People. Cutscene. As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional grey hair, but my gosh, it's you, all right? Bitch, don't have grey hair. Um, hello to you well, too, Maureen. hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. I have work to do. Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Already? I've been News back one day. One evening. Here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Uh, coffee, coffee sounds, sounds good. good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Uh, you know me too well. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> and Ashley, <laughs> could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> okay. Ashley? This game oh, sweet is fun. Mary. What are you doing? I feel like I'm oh, going to play hours okay, of this. Hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> no offense, Maureen. But I'm gonna back away slowly. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. The roof, I'm, I'm sorry, curious now. Is. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I wanna hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Yes. I I like her. 
I like Maureen. Oh god. I, that just reminded me of an old advert in the UK. If I actually remember the phone number as well. Holy heck. Uh, let's go back the way we came. Have I got a horn? No, it's not that. I need a horn. I want to be honking. It's very nice. This game is very nice. I can't deny it. It looks very good. Is it a little church on the lake, or is it just got a little? Uh, it's not a steeple. It's got a little pointy bit. Brum, brum, here I come, super gurus in mail delivering. Brum, brum, here I come. That's, that's terrible. Um, that, that, that's another terrible old British TV reference. Two in one video. Matty Ambrose River. Ooh, too far. There's a handbrake. I keep forgetting. So we have a letter for these folks ahead. Now let's move the van a bit further around the corner. I wonder what happens if I drive it into the lake. We'll have to try that at the end, won't we? Let's drive it here. Then we can just go there and then go to the other. One oh two Lake Road. Oop, you got a letter. No, no. What is the one coming up? Four hundred. No, nope, two hundred. Which is the teddy bear, I believe. I really wish I could sprint. E. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. <sighs> Both ways before you cross the street and then just walk out into it. <gasps> cats! Lots of cats! Oh my god, that's my favourite house now. There is cats. Spling dong! Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Uh. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used <laughs> to live in town years and years ago. Uh. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. <laughs> oh my god, this old lady is savage. I love her. Of course, you're the cat lady. How could I forget Miss Mildred forget Jenkins? Miss Mildred Jenkins and her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to, like Genevieve here and Thomas? She's got a name all, Oliver. isn't she? Anyway, did you have oh? a package for me then? Yes. Yes. There you go. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Hmm. I'm not going to tell her it's a teddy bear, because I don't think she will, might not know somehow. 
I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run nope. along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Meow. Can I pet the cats? No, no pet cat button. Oh, no fair. There should be a pet cat button. Or we'll stroke cat. <laughs> ah, this is very relaxing. Brown, brown, here I come. Super cruising, mail delivery. In a few days, I won't even need that map. I don't need it now. There's a mini map showing me where to go. <gasps> they go get rid of the mini map. Just floor it. Oh, it slowed me down. I mean, it stopped me from ramming into stuff anyway. Boop. Last package. Do we have to give it to the mechanic lady? Hello. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. No. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> no. real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Thomas is my father, does that count? Well, is Thomas he? is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Oh. Well... I don't have much of a choice, do I? Nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? What radio? No. no. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Oh. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thanks, Lori. I no need music to drive to. That way. This is me pressing shift. Maybe without. Ah, oh, to talk on radio. Okay, that's not terrible. A little bit quiet, but I think that's because of the settings I was playing with. Oh, it's turned slow. Oh, this is nice. Oops. Try not to crash. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumberyard. Oops. Hey. Uh, a rare yes. sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Bills. Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. 
I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. It's gotta be bills, right? Turn to the post office. Very well. I do want to try and drive him to the lake. Okay, turn the radio a bit. Ooh, this thing does not turn well. I really hope this isn't copyrighted. To wait and see what happens when I upload it. Do, 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 do. Let me switch. Oh, it does so slow. 